Tony and Troy, Grandma's Missing Teeth, Part 1 Tony and Troy are visiting Grandma. Grandma, can you help us with our science project? We have a big competition coming up, and we would like to win the science fair. There's a $5,000 grand prize. Of course! Let's start working on your project. But if I help, you can cut Grandma in on the winnings. I could use a few more plants for my garden. Grandma, you can get all the plants you want if we win the $5,000. You guys get started. I have to go to the bathroom. Tony runs up the stairs and walks to Grandma's bedroom. She starts to dig through Grandma's dresser drawers. She finds loose change and takes it. Over on the nightstand, Tony notices a glass with Grandma's dentures. She takes the glass of dentures and puts it in her backpack and heads back downstairs. Grandma and Troy are working on building their board for the science project. It's getting late. I am going to take you kids home. Tony and Troy hop in Grandma's car. During the trip home, they stop at the gas station. Grandma stays outside to pump the gas into the car while Tony and Troy run in to purchase candy bars. Tony and Troy both put their candy bars on the counter to make the purchase. Don't worry, I got this. Thanks for buying my candy. No problem. The kids run out of the store and hop back into Grandma's car and are dropped off at home. The next morning, Tony and Troy are at school. Austin walks up to Tony and Troy. How is your science project going so far? We just started, but things are going well. Yeah, well, I have to run to class. I will catch up with you guys later. Tony, don't forget, we have the fundraiser after school. I didn't forget. Troy runs to class. So, what type of project are you working on? I am building a miniature model of a dinosaur using real scales. I'd like it to feel as real as possible, but I am having trouble with finding teeth within my budget. I might have something for you. Meet me in the classroom after school. During class, the teacher hands out boxes of candy to the students. Class, these are the candy bars that you will sell for our class trip. 75% of the funds will go towards the trip and 25% back to the school to support our program. You will pair in groups of two. The two students who sell the candy the quickest will win a grand prize. After class, Tony and Troy walk out of the classroom together into the hallway. We have to win this contest. We will. We will start this afternoon. I want to get a head start before our classmates. I want our boxes to be empty tomorrow. Now that's ambitious. I love it. A group of kids come out of the classroom. Hey, are you guys coming to the park after school today? I will catch up with you guys later. I have to help Austin. Troy grabs the box of candy from Tony and goes with the group. Tony heads towards the classroom where she says she will meet Austin. Austin is waiting impatiently. What took you so long? I ran into a few friends in the hallway. Don't be so pushy. Okay, what do you have that can help with my science project? Tony reaches into her backpack and pulls out a jar of teeth. I think these would look great on your dinosaur. Ew, where did you get these from? We went to a rummage sale, and these were available with a bunch of other ancient artifacts. Well, these teeth don't look too ancient. They look almost human. No, these are perfect for your dinosaur. Austin picks up the glass of teeth. I suppose they do look like a perfect fit. How much do you want for them? How badly do you want to win the science fair? You know, I want to win. I won the last two years, and I am going to take this year as well, with the help of these teeth. 
Then it's worth $100 to you? $100? What are these made of gold? I told you, they are real teeth and it's ancient. I will give you $50 for them. I don't have all day. Looks like this competition isn't worth it to you. And she grabs the glass of teeth back from Austin and starts to walk away. Wait! Tony stops dead in her tracks and has a devious smile on her face. Austin opens his wallet and he has exactly $100 in his wallet. He starts to shake and cry a little as he holds the $100 in his hand. I need this money to help my family buy groceries. I've been working all summer to save this much money. It's okay. You will make $5,000 when you win the science fair contest, says Tony, and she takes the $100 out of Austin's hands. Tony hands Austin the glass of teeth and runs out of the room. She hops on her bike to meet up with her friends. Tony sees Troy up ahead and she is standing alone. Where is everyone? Looks like everyone had the same idea as we did. They went to get a head start to sell their candy. Then let's get to it. Tony and Troy start to go door to door to sell their candy. This is the best candy you can ever have. Yes, this candy is gluten free, sugar free, and can help reverse diabetes. You can enjoy this candy and get healthier treats than traditional chocolate. The neighbor buys the whole box. Tony and Troy walk away with $500. I will put this in my backpack. Tony and Troy walk away from the house. Um, I don't think this candy is sugar free. And is there gluten typically in these types of candies? It doesn't matter. We sold the whole box. Isn't that exciting? Yes, it is exciting. But that person didn't need to buy a box of candy. I don't want anyone to get sick. They'll be fine. We will win the grand prize for selling all our candy in one afternoon. Tony and Troy walk in the door of their house and their father was just hanging up the phone. Hey dad, how are things going? Not too good. I just got off the phone with your grandma. She misplaced her teeth. She thinks her nurse came in and took them and wants to call the police. Oh wow, that's terrible. Why would she do such a thing? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Her nurse is such a sweet lady. Your grandma is really upset. She can't afford new teeth. She will have to wait six months to get replaced. Hop in the car. We are going to see her. Tony, Troy, and Dad drive over to Grandma's house. Grandma opens the door and she is clearly upset. I want her arrested. Calm down. We don't know if she took your teeth. Tony and Troy stand there quietly. I also noticed my change was missing out of my drawer. She is a thief. The family sits around the kitchen table. I am sure there is a reasonable explanation for this. Just as dad finishes his sentence, there is a soft knock at the door. Dad opens the door and the nurse comes in ready for her daily rounds. Grandma runs over to the nurse and attacks her nurse. You stole my teeth and my money! Thief! The nurse gets off the ground. Ma'am, I didn't take anything from you, but let's find your money and teeth. Find out what happens in the next episode of Grandma's Missing Teeth. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe 